another episode of Big Bear Boxing Combo, episode number 76. The conversation I want to get into today, who would win in a mega matchup between Shakur Stevenson and Javante Tank Davis? I'm going to break it all down in this video, so stay tuned. Also, like, share, comment, and subscribe, and also hit that notification bell. Yes. But it's hard to hit Shakur. If you, you know what I'm saying? The power is, is more, you gotta do more than that. You know what I mean? You gotta really outthink Shakur, and that's really tough to do. Even with the top level guys, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've seen Shakur spar, you know, the best of them, and Shakur sometimes make easy work of them, too. You know what I mean? It's just all about just thinking outside the box with Shakur, you know, to get certain shots off, but those are rare moments. Uh, Shakur is gonna be the beauty of the decision. I would, I would say. A lot of people, like, they look for Tank to knock guys out all the time, but he's actually really good boxers. And me and Tank was working. He, me and he was boxing really well. You know what I mean? He has really good IQ. He knows exactly what he's doing. He knows how to play the clock and everything like that. And even with Shakur, Shakur is probably the most patient fighter I've ever been in the ring with. And sometimes it can frustrate you because you want to get in there with him and want him to scrap with him, and he's not going to do that. He's going to make you fight his fight and slow you down and make you do what he wants you to do. So I feel like if them two was to ever get in the ring together, it would be like a, a beautiful boxing exhibition. Let's get right into it. You see the, the title. Um, this was a, a very cool video to put together. Um, this is probably a, a future mega fight. I'm, ho I'm hoping both guys stay on course winning. Um, I think they got the possibility of facing off against each other. I know they have sparred plenty of time, so uh, I would love to see this fight, and I'm pretty sure all real boxing fans would love to see Shakur Stevenson versus Devontae Tank Davis. Uh, I think it could probably be just as big as uh, Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford, if not one of the biggest fights in the history of the uh, sport of boxing. So let's go ahead and get into it. I break my videos down in two different sections, or in two different rounds, excuse me. Um, round one, we're going to discuss Devontae Tank Davis' overall skill set. Also do the same thing for Shakur Stevenson. And at the end of round two, I'm, I give you my, uh, my overall pick, and uh, I try to explain why. So let's go ahead and get into it. So uh, just starting off, both boxers are, are phenomenal boxers. Uh, I think that um, Devontae Tank Davis is a beast. Everybody knows he's a true knockout artist. Um, he, and and, and uh, what Bruce Carrington was saying in the uh, first clip that you guys were seeing, um, he had a phenomenal uh, breakdown of these two guys. Uh, but, you know, I think he, he's, uh, he was spot on. I think that Devontae Tank Davis, he does not get enough credit for being a boxer. Uh, I think a lot of people, I'm going to change that. I think a lot of people do give him credit for being a boxer. But sometimes you get the casuals in there and they don't really know the sport of boxing. They just kind of know I'm watching a major event. But uh, Devontae Tank Davis is an animal. Um, that, that comes with uh, just having knockout the uh, knockout ability, but also to be the a I mean the ability to actually think inside the ring, break it down. Um, I can see every every fight that I have seen him in, he always breaks down his opponent. Uh, his last three opponents have been kind of kind of tough. Uh, I, I you know either with comes reach or whatever, uh, especially with the Mario Barrio Barrios fight. That fight was very very interesting um, because Mario Barrios is like five uh, ten, um, and I think he had it with reach advantage as well. But uh, Devontae, he figured out a way to get inside, get inside his guard, um, and, and and put him down, and eventually put him out. Uh, and also, uh, Leo Santa Cruz was a little bit taller than Devontae Tank Davis too, um, but he figured out a way to, to get close to him. To, he, he had to take a couple shots. Um, I think that's the that's, that's the biggest thing for me when it comes to Tank. Sometimes when he fight these uh, these these rough Mexican fighters, a lot of times you're you're gonna get hit. That's just the sport of boxing. Um, and also in the cruise fight, he, he made some adjustments and stuff like that. Even with a hurt hand, he made some adjustments to actually pull off the victory. And I think that he did a really good job in, in just moving his feet. Um, because you, you can't, everybody wants you to just sit there and bang all, all night. Sometimes that's not going to get you to win. Sometimes you got to use your feet. And that's what Devontae was using. He's using his feet, um, using his jab. And uh, he threw some nice combinations too. At one point, I, I really thought that he had uh, Isaac Cruz hurt. Uh, a couple times, and I'm pretty sure he did. But uh, Cruz did a really good job and kind of, uh, kind of hiding that. But uh, I think that with the with the footwork and everything, like I say, if you had if if you had to build a perfect fighter, I think Devonte would be he would be up there. Uh, he has a lot of things that you cannot teach. He got a lot of grit. I think that's one thing I do not think he get a, he gets a lot of credit for is having a lot of grit uh, because all his fights are not easy. Uh, especially the, 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 the last fight, Cruz is rough. When you when you got an awkward fighter in there, a lot of times you have to get 
you have to get creative. Uh, I think he did not get enough credit for that fight. Uh, you know, even though I do want to see him in there with, with some of the top guys, but I know it's a plan for him that uh, him and his team has for him to kind of stay on top and take over the sport of boxing. Um, I think that he's the, the next man up. I do think he will take over the sport of boxing before anybody else after uh, whatever uh, Canelo Alvarez, uh, w once he get finished with his reign. Um, but I do think Javante has the ability to uh, take, take the reins. Uh, I do not picture anyone else beat him, but Shakur Stevenson is a really good interest in fight. Um, I, but I think anywhere from 130 to 135, well, I don't think Tank is going back down to 130, but 135 and 140, I think the, uh, if it's not Shakur Stevenson, I do not really see anybody beating him. So let's get into round two with Shakur Stevenson. So let's go ahead and break down Shakur Stevenson. I think he has the same skill sets as uh, Javante Tank Davis does. Uh, only only difference is it's a slight uh, power difference. Well, it's a, a big power difference. Uh, Shakur has some power to um, fight that, uh, you know, fighting at 130. He, he has the ability to uh, put guys on their butts. But uh, I, I really think that, um, you know, with his footwork, his ring IQ, he's one of the smartest, slickest boxers other than Javante Tank Davis around him. At, at that same weight class, uh, that it's super talented. It's, it's nothing that you can say that he does wrong. He, he does not take a lot of punishment. Um, he does. <clears throat> I think him and Tank has about the same uh, reach advantage. Uh, and also, I think uh, I think Shakur maybe five seven five eight. Uh, so he got the height advantage too. But other than that, I think that Shakur Stevenson. I will have to give him when it comes down to footwork. I will have to give it to him just you know just by the way he uses it. Uh, his distance is, is some of the best distance. It's kind of like Floyd. I, you know, I, I don't want to. I, I don't really like comparing fighters to fighters, especially with Floyd. Floyd, he, he did his thing. He, he, you know, that was his time. But these these guys today need to have their own spotlight. So I don't really like to compare them to Floyd. But it reminds me of Floyd Mayweather the way he used distance. And I can almost say that Shakur Stevenson used it better than um, than uh, Mayweather did. But just overall, I think his his ring IQ. Um, you know, the, the, the power that he showed with uh, in, in the Jamel Heron fight, uh, I think, you know, with the commentators, you know, sometimes it's bad when you got the commentators against you and they call you a boring fighter, but he, he came out to prove that, hey, I could pop with the best of them. And uh, I think with Valdez, I think he's going to do the same thing. I, I, I picture him knocking Valdez out. I picture him putting on a, a display that uh, a lot of us have not seen in quite a while. I think it's going to be a, a, a show, and I think that he is – not, it's not going all 12. I guarantee it's not going all 12. I think sometimes when you get out class so bad that it tires a lot of guys out. And you heard uh, uh, Carrington saying that it does tire you out. You you get mentally fatigued when you fight uh, Shakur Stevenson or spar with him because he has you thinking. You think you're going to go in there and you do what you want to do. But he has he's so smart that he's playing chess with you. Uh, you know, he, he does a, a lot of different things in the ring. Um, I'm not going to like get into super detail. Maybe I'll make another video about it and get super detail like I have before about some other fighters. But uh, he does a lot of different little things in the ring that makes you think. And you're not going to go in there, you know, if you, if you throw a shot, he's one of the best counter punchers uh, that, I, that I've seen that's at his, uh, in his age group. Um, and even just around 130, even 135, I think he can make a lot of noise at 135. But uh, like I told you guys before, let's go ahead and get into this, uh, the end of round two. Uh, was getting to the end of round two. So let's get down into more of the breakdown of these, who would win between these two guys. So I give the, I give the power, obviously, to Tank. I give the footwork to uh, Shakur Stevenson. Um, I think uh, hand speed, oh, man, it's, it's probably about equal. Uh, I, IQ is probably equal as well. Uh, I think it was, it's going to come down to defense. Who has the better defense? Uh, Shakur, he gets hits, he get hit now, way less than um, uh, Javante Tank Davis does. So it's like, you know, if we play in point, if we play in the points game, I have to go with Shakur Stevenson because he does not get hit. And you have to think, is Tank feet fast enough to kind of keep up with somebody like Shakur Stevenson? Um, I do think that uh, Shakur has the, the better footwork, uh, and I do think he has the, 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 I don't know, it's just different. I would love to see this fight. Um, but I think in a year's time, years, I, I think right now I would give it to Tank. But I think after a couple years of uh, 
before kind of getting his feet um, even more wet, uh, jumping in that pool a little bit more, or get deeper into that pool of uh, talent. Uh, I think that we can really see what, what this what this young kid is going to be uh, capable of doing in the future. But right now, I would give it to Tank. But later on, I think that Shakur Stevenson is going to dominate those uh, those rankings. It's just my opinion. But you guys let me know what you think about this one down in the comments below. That's going to conclude another episode of Big Bear Boxing Combo, episode number 76. You guys let me know what you think about this topic down in the comments below. If you want to see one of the wins, shop.t.com. Follow me on all social media platforms that I'm currently on. Links will be down in the descriptions below. Just want to thank you guys like I do each and every single video. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and also hit that notification bell. All of that is very, very important. It helps the channel grow and also the sport of boxing when it comes to my channel. Thank you guys again with all that out of the way. Thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of Big Bear Boxing Combo.